So, this is The Poor Ass Gamer, and we're going to review uh, this brand new game that I just purchased. It's called Poncho. Um, it's a parallax game playing video game. Um, it's definitely a lot more different than uh, some of the games that we've seen out there. Obviously, it's 2D, um, but it has this different level of the ability to switch between foreground, background, um, and it plays like that. So, I've seen some videos about this. Um, it really intrigued me. Uh, I love the game Fez, um, and that was kind of 2D, 3D, so um, I wanted to see how this game sort of manages that. So this is the Poor Ass Gamer's Sunday Impressions, and uh, this is the Games and Gimmicks live stream, basically. Forgive me, I'm drinking coffee right now, so we're going to see how this goes. Let's uh, start playing. I just love that these games are back in the forefront now. I mean, who would imagined 30 years from now we'd be playing games that were like what was out there? But now we have all this technology to surpass what they were even doing back then. So um, let's see how this game goes. It's about a tiny robot after mankind has killed itself, I guess, as far as this game. You see, obviously, the uh, <laughs> elements of what this game is going to be like. All those individual items should be platforms. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's a great way to open a video game, huh? Death and Destruction. I'm gonna have a seizure. I'm dying. Oh, audio is done. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, got some jumping going on here. Next to jump. Not really much I can jump on right now. I'm sure they will detail that in a moment here. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna keep going this way. Out into the world. Lots of falling columns. <laughs> and apparently I picked up a red chip of some sort. It's like very Metroid-y. <laughs> it's, uh, it's big. I'm Tom Hanks. Robot Tom Hanks. Red chip. Some red chips. Nope. Oh, fuck, why didn't I jump? And I'm terrible. Okay, I got this jumping mechanic down. <laughs> Jesus, okay. I'm just jumping not enough, apparently. We're not gonna play around it with that one as much as I had hoped. What the hell? Oh, okay. Alright, 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 I see how it is, I see how it is, I see how it is. Boom! Jumped over, how about that? It's pretty cool. Oop, no, looks like I was leaving the next area and walked back. Back. Huh. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I 
That's pretty fucking cool. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, I'm almost certain of it, but... How about that? All right, that's a pretty cool concept. I, I like this. It, it it doesn't seem as terribly jarring as I thought it was going to be at first. Um, so that's really cool. I, I think that's an interesting concept. Okay, so I only got a certain amount of time here. That's what it looks like. So I got the damn key. Let me in. Oh god. Okay, first mistake. Okay, so see, now this really seems like, like Fez. Like, every bitty robot character has to talk like this, and that voice. Humanity can begin again. Daddy? Take a look at this. Who would have thought a concept like this would work? Oh shit. So obviously a lot of work has been put into this game. Um, Look at just like, I mean, even just looking at those clouds and everything there too as well, this game has obviously got a lot of time under its belt. And these shifting backgrounds are just really cool. So now we're out in post-apocalyptic world that man has destroyed. Pretty interesting. Broken buildings. Can I even go into this room? No. Okay. So now I gotta figure out where we're gonna go here using our shifting backgrounds. Which is a little <laughs> interesting to try and figure out how to do. Because it's not like I can jump onto everything though, right? Well, what's the best candidate here? Nope, I died. Okay. So that didn't work. <laughs> Or it did? Hmm. Oh shit. Hey, what's up, little robot frog?
There's all these little strange robots standing around. It's too funny. Is this like the upgrade again? I don't know what any of this does, but we'll figure it out, right? Guess I'm unlocking some keys with red chips. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. There must be something going on here. Yeah, there we go. That's some, that's some of those red chips. Oh my god. Yep. This game is gonna mess with me and, and my brain and my ability to comprehend which directions I should be at. <laughs> it's very interesting. Okay, so when I'm in this thing, I can't go back. When I'm in this thing, I can go forward. Uh -huh, interesting. Lots of reasons for things in this game. This is the kind of game that I had wished I had been like, involved in from the beginning or something like that, because it's just too cool, it's just interesting. It doesn't have to be, like... Games don't have to be, like, an amazingly groundbreaking concept, it just has to be something fun that you can play. That's all this is. It's just a simple platformer. Can't open that one yet. Okay. So I've gone too far. I'm gonna go back. So obviously it's got elements of things like Mario and stuff like that too, just a basic... 2D platformer, but, um, I'm really surprised at how easy this is starting to work now. I love my hat. I love my poncho. How about that? Oh, you god. I'm gonna watch that foreground and background. There's just a lot of exploring to be done here. So this this will probably keep me occupied. Now, as for the price tag of $15, mm, there's 20 levels of apparently in this game, so it, it should be worth its cost and everything there too. I think sometimes the price points for these games are, are set in a way that actually does more harm to the developer than it does good. Because then essentially we're still paying like, so much for a video game. I mean, $15 is legitimately not the worst. Uh, so now I don't have to jump, is the understanding I'm making here now. So you don't have to jump in order to do that. Also, whenever you just hit the edge of the screen, it just moves on to the next next area really quickly. So sometimes it's a bit, a bit jarring, but that one's not exactly there. Okay, so now we got shifting perspectives. Oh wait, I could probably just sit on it. Oh, more die. Oh, see, now that's a little more difficult than I imagined. How the heck does one time this? Oh, dear God. Alright, that's, 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 that's an interesting concept. Technically, I could jump onto it whenever I wanted to. 
Oh man, this is gonna be a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> and I get killed. Okay. So conceptually, this is a little hard. And this is like the first few minutes of this game. So, let's see. I'm gonna jump back. Oh, dear god. Jump back. Jump back. Ah, oh, jump! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Try again. I'm in with anything. I'm ready to try it. There we go. Very good. Oh, I can't go back that way. God damn it. Okay. Okay, Pancho. Here we go. And how do I make it back now? I'm screwed. Something further back in good? No. Okay. That was a poor choice. I don't think I can- oh wait, hey, hey, hey man, hey. I did not see that other perspective of where this damn thing was. Wow. This is a pretty advanced little game. I am nothing but a speck in the universe. That is, that's a bit bleak. Just a bit bleak there. Holy shit. I'm sure those are like something reasonable. Alright, right, right, right. let's try it out this way. Okay, okay. So he's gonna come back this way. Ah, he's doing this too early. Dear God, you are a difficult game, sir. Alright, so all we need to do is shift. Maybe it's better to jump. Oh, sweet mother of God. Blinking. That's coming this way. There we go. That's, that's how you should have done that in the first place, Joey, but you did not. Okay, the important trick with that one is to pay attention to the blinking lights, obviously, there, too. Once it starts blinking, you can jump over to where you need to go. Gives you a good indication of things. This is a really cool game, though. It's hard to be very introspective about a game with, you know, it's just a little robot and it's jumping around. I still don't understand the rocket ship thing, but maybe that's a uh, completion of the level. A checkpoint. So, let's see. I got basically nothing in the first level. 32, 96, 3 of 6. This is one of those things I would just keep playing, though, like, over and over again, though. Like, this is a, this is a fun little interesting game. So there's obviously a ton of stuff to still do. Jesus. Yeah, so that just gives you a little bit of a concept of how complicated this game is. Wow, this is... I don't think I've ever played a game like this, to be honest. It's kind of almost too distracting. Especially since I don't know which direction some of these are going, I, I guess I can kind of visualize it, but... 
So that one's gonna either come back or go forward. Oh, it's in the foreground. Well, fuck me. Why am I not in the... Oh, that's, that's probably why it wasn't working for me. <laughs> God! Just don't know. That was too early. Okay. Alright, Poncho. It's starting to get really fucking annoying here. I really have got to figure out that timing there. Damn you! This is difficult. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! This is quite the difficult video game. Maybe I could just, like, if I'm not going anywhere... And you can't get further back, okay, yes. Uh, maybe I'm just approaching this incorrectly. I don't even think I need to be on that one. <laughs> And so, he like, kind of falls either way. See, that's all I wanted to do, was get on this thing, and then I died! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. They're coming back. This guy's coming back. <laughs> Time to shit. <laughs> Damn, motherfuck. No! <laughs> okay, 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 I got this. Flash. Flash. Jump. Flash. Yeah. Okay. I'm concerned as to whether or not I can figure this game out or not. Ah, wrong button. Okay, there's certainly a lot of buttons and things to remember in this game. Hachi Machi. That is... That's a difficult game. It's coming up here. Ah, oh, <laughs> why? Why? For why? Okay, this one's very quick. Okay, I can't simply jump on that apparently. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Just wanna get those little red chips. And also, that seems to be the only way to really progress at this point, so let's just uh, get over to where we need to go. It's just two chips, I can live without getting those two chips. I cannot. Oh, that's just great. I was in the right place. I just screwed it up. 
doink. This is not as easy uh, conceptually as I thought this game was going to be, but uh, still not to say it's not fun. Yeah, I'll just go back here and wait for it. Uh, let's go back here, right here. Alright, so he's right there. Damn you! <laughs> okay, that one was that one was just being a dick to me. Ah! Okay, okay. I gotta get on that, that center one, though. Okay, so then it, it was like... You suck so bad, we're sending you back to the front. I keep, like, fucking up the back forms of these jumps. And that is what is causing the problem here. And then the game just says, You suck so bad... ...that we just simply have to... Ah, uh, yay! Okay. Whee! Okay, I've probably spent way too long on this individual puzzle right now, because it's starting to bother the shit out of me. Just getting that timing right with jumping is, is a, little, a little off. So what I'm going to wait for is for it to go to the back, this one to come up. Let's see, that one will move. Okay, so there's a time when I can jump to this, when it's already back there, because it'll be off. Yeah, okay, here's the time. And I fucked it up again. Okay, so that sucks. Damn it! <laughs> it's like the game's trying to give me the benefit of the doubt, and then it just like fu it's like fuck you, you're stupid. A little difficult is what I would call this. The shifting perspective stuff is a little hard, especially when you can't see stuff. Oh, oh, that's why I'm stupid. Because it's not always in the back. And it's... it's R1. Okay. Give it to me. Give me the power. That's where I wanted to go all along. <laughs> Dear fucking god. Boink. Boink. And then back to where I started. Okay, we're moving on to the next part. <laughs> One of the more difficult things I've ever played in a video game, to be honest. Everything sinks, Joey. God! Oh my god! Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is one of those games that if you don't- if I don't get it, then I'm just gonna be like, I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed at this. It also means I'm just terrible with the concept, apparently. Oh, I could have gone backwards. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I see it. I keep going forward. Why am I doing that? Okay. Jump. Back. Back. And then it finally was synced the other way. Back, back, back. Oh, this is this is 
some interesting timing you gotta get platforming wise. Without pressing the wrong buttons every 10 seconds. Okay. You just have to time it. Look at the fucking lights. I'm sure a normal video gamer wouldn't have that that problem because they just know how to play video games apparently, and I somehow do not. <laughs> All right. It's just about being in the same line. So as long as everything lines up in front of you, then you're fine. But why did I jump? Why did I jump backwards? It was coming towards me. So this one's going to require me to go backwards, isn't it? Yes. That is what we're supposed to do. Oh, I gotta go all the way back, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, this is, this is such an interesting concept for a video game that it's almost, like, too fucking hard to play. I think I remember someone saying a few years ago that were like, Parallax Gaming doesn't work. And I'm like, well, maybe they're fucking right now that I'm playing this. Because I have, you have to remember your perspective and which third you're on. And then you have to jump back towards the perspective so it's not just like... That's, maybe I'm just, like, not fucking high enough or something. I don't understand this. This is, like, incredibly fucking... <laughs> I'm not, but I'm just saying that, like, it almost seems like the concept where you need to be in order to, like, get this to work. Jesus! <laughs> what a fucking unforgiving. <laughs> God damn it! This is totally not that hard, I know that. And I, and then I fucked it up for, for some reason there. I have to hear that goddamn sound effect one more time. Alright, that was a different one. Alright, so that one will come forward. Let me go back. Let me go back again, and we jump, and then we go forward. Uh... Hey, okay, I got a better idea. This is, this is a better idea. We're gonna wait for the second platform to come forward. So that one seems to be working. Okay, okay, I got, I got this, I got this, I got this shit. No, I don't. Son of a bitch! Ah! Uh, uh, bah! This is like probably their most simple jumping puzzle, and I can't seem to get it right in my brain. <laughs> Son of a bitch! And see, that, that time it fucking shifted in the wrong direction. I don't, I don't fucking get that. Oh, dear fucking god. Alright, I got a better idea here. Let's just get here. <laughs> Christ! 
Alright, so when that second thing comes up, I have to jump to it. There's no other, like, explanation here. Ah! I need to just fall off there. That's cool. No worries. I think the game is gonna be like, You suck! You cannot play this game! There is no, there is no hope for you. You have absolutely no concept of thirds, apparently. Oh, sweet Jesus, I made it! <laughs> I'm almost certain that that is their most simple jumping puzzle, and I can't fucking beat it. Is it gonna get harder than that? Cause, oh my god. Yeah, we got, you got problems here. We got some problems here. Can't be jumping correctly. Alright, let's see. There's some gnarly jumping puzzles here, just with shifting that perspective. Like, that's the only thing to me that is like, that is crazy. Go back. There's no jumping out of here, so I have to go there, maybe. That key. Give me the key. the gold. I'm almost at that point, I would say. Can I, like, jump and then, like, switch? Oh, shit! Look at that! There's some cool concepts here, but... Okay, so you gotta... It's almost like if I could just time this right. Let's see, okay, so if he's jumping and I jump to the back, and then I can quickly press to the right, and I can get back into there, right? Uh, I can't really do it that way. It's kind of a little too fast for it. of his jump range.
Okay, so... Um... Hmm. No. This kind of makes my head hurt a little bit. Interessante. Like, while I've completed this part, I kind of want to get those right there. And I don't see how exactly you do that. Jumping. I think you, I think you do it with mostly with jumping. I've learned here is that there has to be open space for you to get to. You just simply jump into anything. And now I can't remember how I got over there in the first place. Oh dear god. There's gotta be a way to do this. Okay. This is literally one of those games you could probably spend hours on just playing. Just on the basis that if you press the wrong button, like I do, you have to go back to where you started. So it is very much like... God damn it! It's very much like Fez. Except the controls are a little more rigorous.
son of a bitch. I have got to learn how to fucking press these buttons correctly. That's, that's really the problem here. So that jump won't work exactly the way I anticipated it. So let's think about this then. I spent far too long on this part, let's move on. Am I giving up? Yes. Oh look, a key! Time for some keys, please. I guess it's kind of like a, a section complete sort of uh, thing that you do there. It shows how much I'm not completing. <laughs> Alright, we're going to play a little bit more and then I have to go to eat. But all in all, I guess my first impression about this game is that it actually is pretty fun. I mean, it does it's very challenging, obviously, there too, with the shifted perspectives. And it does take a little bit just to get into these controls and figuring out if any of it even makes sense to you. Most of it's pretty easy to get into, but it, it can be a little difficult here.
Yeah, but it, I, I I am starting to like this game. I mean, it's kind of growing on me a little bit there too. Just just the perspective thing it, by itself is kind of a catch, but I mean, even that by itself is, is something worth sticking around for if you're looking for something a little different to play. Um, let's see what happens here. Wow. So you get all stuff that they wouldn't have been able to do back in the 1980s when these games were kind of conceptualized. Interesting music and a monolith of some sort. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. So go get this stuff. It's usually the case. Just go get all this stuff. Can I go back there with him? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's give him credit here too as well. This music actually really rocks. And see, now I kind of feel like this, uh, uh, there's a Steam game that was just like this too as well, and it, very familiar in terms of, like, broken robots. Ah, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but that was more of a, a more like LucasArts puzzle game. Mm, will do. Got some more of these chips. Arise. Yeah, I'm starting to like this game. Um, it's, it's it's a mix of a lot of different things I've played over the last few years, but uh, the concept still remains true, and it, it it feels like it's it's just a good solid platformer, if anything, there too. So, well, uh, that kind of concludes my uh, at least first hour into 
Poncho, a new game for PlayStation 4. Um, definitely something that I think you should take a look at. I mean, fourteen ninety nine seems a bit much sometimes when I'm, I'm looking at these games. I'm like, that's pretty expensive, but as you can kind of see, I think there's actually 20 worlds from what I read about it. So, I mean, that's a lot of stuff to go through. And you can see I'm barely even hitting the mark with some of these um, in terms of all the stuff that I have to uh, pick up here. So, um, definitely one of those types of games you should take a look at. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much... Uh, the Games and Gimmicks podcast on YouTube. Uh, well, our live version. So feel free to take a look at it. Um, again, yeah. Uh, feel free to uh, take a look at this game. And uh, I'll be trying to do more of these each uh, week. At least once uh, every Sunday. So there will be new games and uh, new reviews and first impressions. And uh Thanks for watching.